sounds a bit sad now, but quite a few people started dying, you know what I mean? Talk yeah, you, about that. you had, you had, you you had, there had, when Bliss? You had, you yeah, yeah. Well, I wasn't there. We was going from Harrow to uh, North Harrow. Do you know Nigel Quick? Quitslow Bliss. Yes. It weren't long so after Ray's Bliss, when he, were They were surfing as they are coming into Harrow no, on the big no, mats. No, in the was, semi, weren't it? It was wow. uh, in between the trains. Cause you used to hang out, hang out hang in out between the, the trains yeah. and draw on the side. And right. And uh, you've heard this do do do, And someone thought someone had thrown a fire extinguisher out the window or something. And it weren't. It was... It was like bliss, a bit of thing. He hit um because going over the signal. going over the going over the change bit in the tracks. Yeah, as you go into Harris. And rough, like we've all run it? we've all run down the tracks and we're all stopping trains. Stopping trains and all that. Killer 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 official dot com. Street culture TV. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller podcast. I don't know who took me to Hairfield Drive. Well, I was drive. working away. Martin used to bring people around. I was working away. No, no, no. Listen, we climbed into somewhere and we got chased by geese. In the pitch dark. I don't know where I was. All right, you lot. All right, hold it down. Hold it down. Don't start without me. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller podcast. <laughs> oh, no, no, I wasn't there. <laughs> We're about to take everyone there. Killer Keller podcast, live and direct, central London. Most centuries you need to be, choose to be, want to be. Heaven forbid you be anywhere else. It's not worth your time, money, um, and you <coughs> won't get the expertise that you need. Uh, if you want more information, go Kellervision app, free download iPhone. Kim Mel. For your sport, oh, mate. For your sport in our etc. How sponsors the mighty GK Nifty Heads have a massive 100,000 play to earn NFTs to give away to the streets. Just hit the link in the description or go to gkniftyheads.com and get ready for Hot Awards Summer 2024. Inside the house, we have a good friend of the podcast uh, and uh, a nuclear firecracker in our own right. Uh, graffiti sensation goes by the name of Tish, but we also have another special guest, another member of the Big Met Bullies, taking out a lot of the 80s, uh, you know where, um, from London, the mighty John inside the house as well. So Tish, Peace John, love, how man. are we? Peace and love. You come on. What are we saying? How have we been? I mean, you, started, you kind of started without me there. Well, Charming. I don't know, it's some geese situation. Yeah, go on. About Harefield. I don't know, it was <laughs> wrestling geese. He's come down from Harrow no, to wrestle we, geese out of I our... think we we done some track size. Don't even ask me. I don't. I didn't even know where Harefield was. I thought it was some village somewhere. And we got chased by geese. Still, and I just uh, remember in the morning, these uh, lot took me where the... I know it now because my son went there. He was a scholar Bakers. at Watford and he went to school there. Yeah, yeah. But um, on the green... There's a pond or something. Yeah. What, what is it? And it's then, a pond. And then I nicked a bottle of milk off someone's oh, doorstep. Right, I was so yeah. thirsty. It's a crime, right? I drank it. It was fucking goat's milk. Uh, <laughs> it was disgusting. Wait, that's, now teach me. Wait, that school, that school, that school that your boy went to, that's what got me into graph. Because William Penrose. He, well, no. Yeah, well, not, John Penrose. John Penrose. Back then, yeah. But the thing is, they did farming there and stuff like that. You know what I mean? They did. They used so to got do two crabs. Well, because they, they asked crap. me. They, my mum well, we're talking about agriculture so now. Right? Goat's milk. Yeah, <laughs> nice, nice bit of saying about sheep. You know what I mean? But no, but they used to do farming there, and I said I don't want to go to that school. You know what I mean? Okay. So I, they, so I got yeah. sent to Pot Street in Northwood. I thought it was a bit more. Who was that? Who was Tosh? Pot Street. Tosh. But no, the thing is, I got sent to Pot Street. And that's where I met people doing craft and this and the other. You know what I mean? So oh, and if if I hadn't gone there, I would have probably been in the farming thing with the sheep and this and the other, <laughs> and sitting by the bus stop drinking bottles of Thunderbird and all that. You shit. You were you know anyway. Oh, I know. Scrum I know. They weren't in air force. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> From nicking apples and all that game. Well, I've been I've been warned. Uh, big up, Matt. You know, I, I've strapped my pork pie hat on very firmly for the ride that's about to ensue. As you can probably imagine, there's a lot of history and a lot of things to go through. We're talking eighties graffiti and beyond. Uh, of a time, you know, we're we're actually you know often sighted as being a lot more risky, a lot more dangerous. I mean, the association with graph and uh, criminality was. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, there's some exceptions. There's a lot of things out there going on. Look after yourselves, people. We don't condone anything. No. But uh, for its time, uh, you guys stepped into the graph arena, and it was a very different uh, world. Well, it was, it was especially coming from Harefield. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I didn't know nothing. I didn't know nothing. It was. 
I just met someone, met someone, Daniel Adam and all that, mm. shock. I met him somewhere doing something. And then he showed us the yard, showed us this, that and the other. You know what I mean? Mm. Tell the story properly, because I heard it the other day. Well, yeah, well, no. Well, no, we was doing something in uh, Rysett Manor. And he's yeah. come up the road and we've run, you know what I mean? Thought he was whole Bill. Mm. And it weren't. So, like, you know I what I mean? Think... <laughs> yeah, well, we was, I was 13, you know what I mean? You don't know, do you? I was from this Airfield. This is a funny story, actually. <laughs> well, no, but that's, that's, about, that's about it. But we, he ended no, up with a bit he later. No, to the yard. He took us a bit later to Uxbridge. Took us a bit later to Uxbridge. And obviously we had our cans of chrome and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, See, he would go with uh, Mize, his brother, uh, before right. he died. But right. we, right. But and we, Cass. So he kind of knew. But we was, we was, as I say, we was there. And we're doing this, that and the other. And he used to have these little handles on the outside of the train. And he turned it and it opens all the doors, you know what I mean? So we've shit yeah. ourselves, you know what I mean? Open, yeah. Tried to run falling about all over the place and he's he's sitting there in tears and laughter, you know what I mean? <laughs> As it's it's rubbed off half of my one of my amazing burners, you know what I mean? <laughs> Which is probably a chrome blockbuster, you know what I mean? Yeah, but, you're a blockbuster man. Yeah, yeah. Well the thing is I know, I'm I'm I can barely write and all this and the other. So like I went simple, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I went double simple. Mm-hmm. It's the only way to go. And not long after, I did these, I did these the little throw-ups I was doing, but I put little bits of colours in them and all that, but they mm. was only about this big. Mm. And so it used to let them run and all that. Mm. And I was up, I went up to Harrow, people hanging about up there and that. And then Tish has, Tish has gone, I've heard it, she's gone, uh, who's that John, who's that John? I've seen them little bits everywhere and I was sitting there like that going, yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> See, I don't remember things like this, but, but no, but that meant something to me. Memory, no, but yeah. that meant something to me because it's the first time I've met any of you lot. Yeah, you know what I mean? And they, it, it looked awful, you know what I mean? But there was loads of them, and they didn't seem to, they didn't seem to buff them too much, you know it what I mean? It wouldn't have been that bad for me No, nah, but, it's, but it was, that's it. But, but for us, it was the damage. It didn't matter really. Well, we did, Handstar was big, but you had your, you guys without a Handstar, and yeah, it was, it weren't a problem, it mm. weren't, it was just but if you had more. a good Handstar, then you then just kind of you, leverage a bit then, more higher. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. And then, um, I don't know, I always tried to, have a good hand style. Mm. It weren't just boom mm. for me. Mm. Whereas other people it is, whatever suits them, in it. Yeah, but I mean we used to we used to virtually live on there, you know what I mean? We used yeah, to virtually... look at stick stack. It yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but... it's just about could write it. Yeah but no but no <laughs> we, it, Stig Stig was um he was a good at school and all this that and the other had nice handwriting, this that, and the other but then he had this and that and the other happened, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Mm. And he got let down by his family so and then he went right the other way. Really? We're Gosh. all there for one reason or another. Well, yeah. We've yeah, yeah, we yeah. got a story. It's yeah. like a boozer, you know? Yeah, Everyone's exactly, there for their own reasons. Exactly, you know? exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. We used to go out, we used to go out, get a few bits, and then we used to go to Marks and Spencers, because we'll be covered in this and the other. Mm. Go to Marks and Spencers and get our new clothes, you know what I mean? You know, and a <laughs> bottle of uh, champagne mm. or whatever, go out. Talents. And then, mm. and then you'd, you'd, what's it? you'd say to yourself, oh, what you should do is go to Marks and Spencers, get your bits. And then go to another Marks and Spencers and take them back, you know what I mean? And then get the cash. Strong. You know what I mean? Strong. Oh, it's quality. Strong. The intel on this one's going to be the man. We taught you, we? We schooled you. Uh, wait, but the thing was... Because was... they wouldn't see us till the evening, me and Pete, well, should it? That's it. That's it when we be... got our money... Be little bumpkins, you know what I mean? But green, just green. Oh, well, that's well, that's well, imagine, there imagine... was loads of them from that way eventually. Yeah, there was yeah, loads I of them. Yeah, I know, but people got cars and stuff like that, you know what I mean? We never had none of that business. No, I mean the twins and like yeah, bombers Lewis and, and that, Fraser so... and Gavin and all that. Yeah, yeah. But what? I can't remember all the tags. I think Tear, Lie and Level, I think they used to write. Mm. See, because people will mm-hmm. recognise those tags. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. you can go on... You know you, about the big man. By the way, you can go on rockinthecity.com yeah, and yeah, you'll see yeah. a bunch of bits. Like, incredible. So them boys, you can mention them because they're... That is all documented. Yeah, well, maybe not by us. Mm. No, but, but someone's it's put all, it down it's there. there. Yeah, someone's so put it down there. So these boys are just like he's still pals with them and now, but they were writers back in the day, and you got to give them their due because they smashed it as much oh, as yeah, us. Cause they was with us. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? It was it was madness. It was mad. it was like a whole new world to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. A whole new world. We used to just run about fields and all that, and chucking cow turds at each other as kids. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So like we were. <laughs> Pups, you know what I mean? <coughs> but going out into the real world, it but was But you've madness. done a lot more yards than... I've done loads of yards, loads, loads. More loads. than what's yeah. actually been documented, Yeah, isn't yeah, it? yeah, because no-one had cameras in. No-one no had cameras, no. you know what I mean? No-one, well, no-one bothered. I mean, we had it once, we was, we was coming out, we was going to do a Ricky yard at, mm. at night, and I lived mm. in Harefield, it's about a three-mile walk. Yeah. 
So we're walking, and obviously we've robbed this camera from somewhere, this 35mm camera, and we're walking up the roads, and there's cars going past, so I'm chucking the bags in the ditch just in case it's... And, uh, and the, the bags started flashing. I thought, what the fuck's going on here? And it's, <laughs> flashing, <landed> on <laughs> it's flashing like madness, you know what I mean? And walking up the road with his bag flashing, you know, <laughs> like some sort of, I don't know. But uh, found out the camera that we had, obviously we'd been thrown in the dishes, ditches, it was all smashed to pieces. Oh, shit. You know what I mean? So we never got photos, but... No one used to take cameras, but and like it disappear after a while, you know what I mean. But uh, anyway, we was going up to Ricky, and we sat in this car park. It was so cold, so you cold. And me, me uh, Lewis Fraser, Tier and Lie, and I think that Gavin there level went and done like top to bottom thing. But it was so cold, you, you couldn't imagine it now. It's about mm. minus four, you know what I mean. Oh, and we lay we laying there in the car park waiting for this that, and the other to about two in the morning. Almost freezing to death, you know what I mean? What drives you to do that? What drives you to be in... But the, but the thing is, you'd, 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 spend, you'd spend a week going out robbing paint, mm, mm, you know mm. what I mean? So the robbing paint. It, I'm, I'm going to do this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and you couldn't keep the paint at home because your mum found it, you know what I mean? Mm. It'd be disappeared, you know? Mm. But, uh, yeah, and then you bought miles for it, you know what I mean? But, like, you can, you, I can understand now, like, police, all you had to do was go down the canal or go on an alleyway and they say, yeah, but, and I can understand the police didn't want to chase you because mm. they're, like, 45 years old mm. and they're saying, yeah, but... I wouldn't want to chase someone when I'm 45 years old, especially someone who's, you know what I mean? Get on with it. Well, oh, I don't know. It's a know. different time. Do you, you lot ever get traced in with you? Like, you never really done no, these to them, no, that, did well, you? We'll, they were more that in that Well, it's, it was easy, it was simple. It was simple, you know? And you had Piccadilly and Met in, in Uxbridge, so you'd do both of them. We did get chased in Uxbridge once. Yeah. And I, I've, climbed, I've climbed in between the Met, Mm. And then I've tried to climb in between the Piccadilly mm. and I couldn't get through it, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and I weren't so fat then either, you know what I mean? And I got stuck in between the trains, you know what I mean? It was only a stroke of luck that they'd gone running somewhere else. So I peeled myself out, got back into the mat and got back into the train. I, tried, I lifted the seat up and tried to hide under the seat, you know what I mean? Where they used to, they used to keep all the shovels and that for the clays. Oh, did they? Do you remember? They used to keep all that yeah, stuff under Yeah, that's right. I've heard stories. So I'm chucking little shovels out and trying to get under the seat, you know what I mean? <laughs> the seat on me. They're not going to see the shovels there. Well, you know what I mean? You don't think like that, do no, you? No, when you were a kid, isn't you it? You don't. You were as thick as shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> You are. Well, I was. You know what I mean. No, but it's that. It's that. Um, Learning. Yeah, but that's why you even the immortality of like yeah. So just get on with it. Yeah, fun. yeah. That's, that's what I the, said. I had, we didn't. had no fear. No, you didn't. Seen... You didn't. I mean, there was once we we what's it? We, for some reason, we climbed under the train, and shock. He's he's gone through first, and he's just flown out. We thought he was doing a, yeah, some but sort he's of a proper little he, skinny. He, yeah, but he got he got <laughs> he got electrocuted. Little. Oh, and did got, he? And got thrown back. What? We thought, he said, hey. he's going, which one of you kicked me? And all he said, never. But he got, and why would you climb under a train? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like when we met you and we was, we was, you was going, you was going, don't touch, don't touch the third rail, don't touch the third rail, whatever. And we was walking across all Where the rails. Where was we? I think it was Northwood, something like that. That's it. That's it. And we was walking uh, across all the rails. And we were going, you're not meant to be doing that. So for, more, well, so for more, it means we've got to do it more. You know? uh, <laughs> yeah. So, okay, let's get into the nuts and bolts. So, when did you guys meet? When did yeah, that power? That was what I was talking about a minute ago when you mm. said them things about John and this and the other. The that writer's was, bench in yeah, Harrow. Yeah, and Sonny Harrow. And this is 80... 88, 89, yeah. Yeah, something like that. Must have been. Something like that. Many, many moons ago. But it was, well, I don't know. That must have been when they... Because they were, they, they were doing surveillance on that platform, or what they called Harrow writer's bench, mm. for like 18 months. But they put um, they put the they put the football hooligan BT on us. Did they? Yeah, <laughs> the football hooligan BTs. You know what I mean? They wow. put them on us, and we'd be we'd be there. Yeah, we'd but be... BT people weren't. But that well, no, big yeah, but they we were yeah, kids. But, yeah, but the thing is as well, they weren't like normal police. Obviously, they were like failed police or whatever, or just <laughs> come out. <laughs> they were. We had there was yeah, just no job. respect. Oh, wow. no, <laughs> but, but the thing was, absolutely, they'd still. take they'd take you into the room. They'd be chucking you about. And and like you'd be down to you'd be down down there down to your pants, and obviously you used to wear boxer shorts and then a pair of pants like wife fronts or something, and you have your pens and this and the other down there, and you just stink like ink, you know what I mean? <laughs> but we was like fourteen years old, and they'd have us in a room taking our trousers down and all that, you know what just I mean? Just yeah, imagine, imagine they, that they, now. Imagine that now. They do what they You'd be done. Well, you'd imagine be... that now. They'd be well nicked, you know what I mean? But like, you know, it is what it is. But we used to get chucked about a lot, and they they had this thing. 
because we used to ride to, like Watford to Harrow and this and there were quite a lot. Mm. I was telling him before about the and fast they, trains. Oh, the fast trains. Yeah, but you got on the fast train, you think, oh, God, I'm going to be on it for ages. <laughs> really? <laughs> but there was, there was a thing in Pinot, right? The BTP, when we went to court, they set up this three month operation in Pinot, right? Where the, it was by the, cra- the tracks, and they set up these cameras in, by the tracks in Pinot for three months. To film us going past doing graph on the trains, and when they when you saw the oh, bit of yeah. evidence, all they had was blurry pictures of trains going past, <laughs> oh and they set that up wow. for three months. And, it was just there the whole time. and, and when we went hilarious. into court, they had boxes of evidence. Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah. And back then, it was like um, colour and um, photocopies was really yeah. expensive. No one done colour <laughs> photocopies, <laughs> and they had. Oh, I can't even tell you the amount of evidence oh, they had. Even, oh, we didn't even look at all of it because it was too boring. No. You know I mean? Well, yeah. But we went, we went to uh, Harrow Magistrates first and it went to Crown. Mm. But I think we got arrested in Harrow Crown or... I think, no, we got arrested in Crown because there were so many of us in the dock. Yeah. And obviously we're all scratching our tags out wow. in the dock. You know what wow. I mean? And they come into the... They come into the court after it said a German. And all I that. don't think I was they there. Came, you was, one. you was. You were sitting in front because there, oh, okay. there was so many of us there. There's a few of us sitting behind, a few of us sitting in front. And they come in and arrested us in the, in the dock for scratching our tags out in the dock. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, you could have been lawless. Absolutely launch oh, yourselves. Cool. But you didn't know. You did, we didn't know. It was too stupid. You know what I mean? And outside, we're posing for the reporters oh, like dickheads. No, no, no. <laughs> the, we're well, superstars. Right. Yeah. They, were, they, was, they was trying to do us. They was trying to do us for conspiracy. Of course, right. Yeah. We didn't know what conspiracy was. You know what I mean. But yeah. the thing is, it, it held a bigger sentence, sentence yeah. than blah blah blah. They wanted us to go prison. Yeah, but well, the thing was, we got we got to nicked go at prison. like fifteen years old and this that, and the other, and then they <laughs> sell this crown thing, and it didn't finish until we was nearly seventeen. Mm. And like the, the only reason, the only reason we Which owned up there, nearly two right? Years. Yeah, and they said, right, you're gonna be, we're gonna cite, get a jury in, and this that, and the other. And they said, right, you're going to be here every day for six weeks. And we're going, fuck that. Fuck you know? that Nobody yeah, wants yeah. that. And she's no. gone, right. We found out. She's going walking out. We're going, what are you doing? She's going, oh, I'm going to own up to half of it. And I was going, well, can we do that? Because <laughs> 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 well, they, they were saying to me, you're not going to go to prison. Own up to it. You won't have to sit in the court for all that time. Yeah. You're only going to get this. I said, well, look, look. As long as I don't go to prison. No, Tish, Tish you're, you're, you're a calculative because I just come out of prison, so I won't so you're already, to go yeah. back to prison. I was 16 years old. I didn't want to make happy. But it. you were re- ring, very much ringleading from an in- intellectual point of view of like, well, well yeah, if we I do mean, this, we do that. Uh, well, it's their prerogative, isn't it, at the end of the day, what they do. Mm. But I'm very impulsive. Well, I think we all So I don't, I don't usually think about what I'm doing. Hold I'm on a moment. So what, impulsive so far I'm as... I'm a bit like a smacking bucket. A, Hold on, smacking a BTP, is it because you mentioned this before we started recording well, as well? Well, I don't remember that. Okay, so wh- when did but this John's happen? John's mum said it, selective. so selective. it has to be I was true. Gonna, I was going to bring my mum down for evidence, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm time, mumsy. I've got Jake inside there. Say hello, Jake. Hello. Here we go. Fix There we go. That's what I mean. We, I had no respect for BTP. But we had to go back. We had to go back they for were sentencing. <laughs> We had to go back for sentencing, mm. and like I was being taken up in my mum's yellow Mark IV Cortina. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, uh, oh, and as and as actually. as we as we was coming out, you see On this you see this you. you see this bloke shuffling about in the bushes, and we go, "What are you doing?" And, and he's got one of them big long lens cameras, so we started break dancing and, and like fucking <laughs> yeah, about, I that. leafing about like that. And he's going, he's come out of the bushes. <laughs> that was the he's evening come out, standards. He's come, no, it's the mail, Daily Mail. And the evening, no, the, uh, and, we uh, was in it twice. We was in the evening and he's, standard and the Daily he's Mail. He's come out, he's come out of the bushes, and he's going, if you're not going to take this, um, what's it? Pro- if you're not going to take this sensibly, blah blah blah. And I was going, well, what do you want? He said, if you want a photo, come out here. We're sitting on my mum's Mark <laughs> 5 yellow <laughs> container. You know, <laughs> making it like this. And the thing was, at the time, I was going out with this bird in Copthorne Road in Croxley. Really nice road money and all this yeah. and the other. And like, I went around there the next day. And the, the dad said, is this a picture of you on the front page of the Daily Mail? <laughs> <laughs> and we were going, ooh. Oh, in mail readers. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I remember at the time you had, that, you had that hair thing in. You know, that hair thing that attached to your other hair or whatever. And you was walking about like that. Because your hair was so heavy or something. <laughs> you did, you had that, all that. Yeah, that is all the hair detail memory. Yeah, oh, there's nobody who couldn't believe because she was the going to tissue all right. She's walking about yeah. like that, going, yeah. <laughs> 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 <That's> a... <laughs> Weighted it down. So, what about the smacking the BTP? So, how did that all come about? 
He put his hand. He put his, on he put his hand on. Put his hand on her shoulder. Up. And obviously, Tish being the relaxed person she is, you know what I mean? <laughs> she just, she's just lashed out and hit him around the face, you know what I mean? Wow. Did I not get don't, nicked don't for that? Don't fucking touch me, don't touch me. Uh, I don't know They can't happened. nick me if he's put his hand on me. No, no that's true. No, but it was pain. Honestly, it's Where most... was my mum? What did my mum do? I don't know. She used to get so embarrassed of me. I think it was yeah. the most boring thing in the world because the thing is, we used to end up at we'd be at, like Harrow on the Hill mm. train station. Harrow Magistrates was like the other meeting place, wasn't it? You know, every what I mean? Tuesday. Yeah, because we'd all because what they would do because you're juvenile, they remand you. Mm. What they call remand you, mm. they can only they can only bail you for a week. Uh, so every week, every back in and out, yeah, fuck at room Harrow. Yeah, it would be there. It was like so, a people, people, and when these lot got nicked in Harrow, it was. People would even go down there to meet people. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, like, it's a I mean, day out. Nicked, I've just got to go and see. Like when out. I've been in the court, I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, that's and it. boom, straight on the bus. You go and meet someone. Up to our own and then on the train that's or do it. whatever. Wow. But we had, we had this... Uh, we had but this, it was like a... Uh, every week. But we, we, got, we got nicked once. We was doing the, the back of the train. And these BTP popped out the back door. And like, I'm trying to run along the train. I don't know where I was going to go. You know what I mean? <laughs> but they've got hold of me. And I was with that Lewis uh, tier lie and uh, level. And uh, they've got hold of me and they've sat down and taken to Baker Street. And they're going, what's your name? And I've given a wrong name and said that I was 18. So they, you know, so didn't have to boss it my mum and dad. Yeah. And there's all them looking at me going, I'm going fuck up. Don't say nothing. <laughs> Don't say nothing. And like, I, got, I got arrested, got taken there interviewed and this and the other all them lot have had to have their mum and dad's taken down and I've been interviewed charged blah 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 and then went allowed to go home and I went home and I told my mum and dad you know what I mean mm. well I didn't know at the, the time the checks weren't like that back then because I, I didn't I didn't know names of them I didn't know at the time, time. Yeah. I didn't know at the time that they couldn't do nothing about it because they'd interviewed a minor mm. without an adult there and all that so, so like nothing happened. Mm. But when the BTP got older, they did used to chuck it about and terrorise. Oh, really? You know what I mean? Yeah, really? of course they did. Yeah, of course they did. Because probably they've been sent out to go and chase children about. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. and we were like whippets. You know what I mean? We could, and especially when you've got that thing of running it was away. Literally cat and you, mouse, weren't it? You could just yeah, but you could run. Yeah, but how often did BTS come on the line? Very rarely. Really? Yeah. Not much. Not and there weren't a lot of BTS, John. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, they go to. Well, do you think it was? But the, it was? the thing was, the thing was, where it, where it was getting battered so much, they obviously put a, a group in that area. You know what Graf I mean? Squad. There they, was they, Graf squad. They, they wasted, never went on the train. You they got wasted your three uniform. months. They wasted three months of it sitting at a car park in Pinner, <laughs> taking photos of blurry trains. You know what I mean? <laughs> Good work, um, fellas. Yeah. <laughs> for the so, sentencing and everything that we got for our court case, was just. Well, no, what a waste you, you lot. Time, I was really. the only one there that said mm. I had a job trying to make myself look good and this, that, and the other. And I got a two grand fine. And this lot got a 500 pound fine. Yeah. And 240 hours community service, that was a heartbreaker. Oh, uh, yeah. That but was in the it. end, I think everyone went down for it because most of us got thrown off of um, community service because where they sent us for community service, a day later, oh, a day later, service, a day later, the place would get robbed. I prison again. Well, oh. Whatever was there. Uh, yeah, or no one paid their fine or whatever. There was I mean? a five. It was only five hundred pound fine and five hundred well, 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 compensation. Well, was too, anyway. For me. Anyway, that's a funny. Uh, it was so boring. A funny old game. How can you mean? We it still doesn't actually change. And if you actually much. check it, it says like only about thirty grand's worth of damage. That is not a lot of damage. No. For the amount of time they no. were watching. No. To be us, honest with right? that. To be honest with you, that, that annoys me. That annoys me. <laughs> yeah, it annoys me because it must have been a lot. It would be a lot more than that. But that's what the Daily Mail said. Right, and the thing is, the Daily Mail, yeah, they wanted to interview us again afterwards, but we just got into smoking and all that, so we were double... I un- did mine. We were double unreliable. <laughs> and they arranged to meet us, and none of us met us. So they just wrote They just wrote absolutely anything. You know what I mean? Absolutely anything, you oh, know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Savage beast. My, oh, yeah. 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 My solicitor contacted them and said, you need to... Re- because they put girl was ringleader and that wasn't true. No. It's because I was the only girl. I saw that. I saw and that. Um, so basically they said, oh, we're doing an interview on a... Obviously we can't pay her because of the crime or yeah, whatever. Yeah. But, um, Get your free paint. Just to, <laughs> yeah, just to basically make up for that. And then they called me and um, he interviewed me from Amsterdam, the guy. 
on it over the phone. Spooky. But yeah, I don't even know why I did that. Mm. Well, the thing is, we was gonna do it, but as I say, we'd either be. So I lost contact with these lot after that. Yeah, we did. Didn't didn't see each so what year would that be? Where we were talking uh, still eighteen? That's no ninety one. Yeah, or right. something like that. Well, the thing is, though, we were banned from the underground, so that's yeah, all for eighteen it. months. That's all ruined plus. it a little bit. I was only allowed on it to travel. I used to live in East Putney. Mm. So when I was going to my mum's, that's the only time I was allowed to, or if I was an accompanied by a social worker or something like that. But we, we, I don't know where we got next before, when we was kids, about 14, 15, and we got a thing called Attendance Centre. Yeah. Attendance Centre is in Hounslow, and we weren't allowed to use the trains. Mm. We used to go to this Attendance Centre. It would be an hour of physical ex... Uh, physical education or whatever and an hour mm. of talking and we'd be there we'd go in there there'd be this bloke with his mirrored glasses on this vest and ripped jean shorts on and he was like Rocky the geezer you know what I mean <laughs> and he'd be going right we'll stand in a circle and then he'd turn around and then he'd start throwing medicine balls at our backs and all that you know what I mean and then getting us to go out and wash people's cars in the car park oh, oh no it was mental to that her. was your punishment it was hilarious but the, but the thing was he, he was dressed in these ripped shorts and all this, and he said, I'm going to go and change. And he'd come out and just even smaller ripped shorts. <laughs> <laughs> they used to send us to somewhere like that in Harrow, but they used to take us canoeing and go-karting and all that. So that sounds a bit more pleasant. But it was all the bad kids. Yeah. So, yeah. like, we'd nick the fucking petrol cans yeah, yeah. at Tilbury, go on the other side of the track, wouldn't let anyone else on the go-karts. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't get off the top of the... Um, the top of the minibus, so they used to drive us to the police station. I oh, meant all times, but it, was like, well, wow. I could, I could... but it was like they rewarded yeah, us for being reward... naughty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we loved I it. I couldn't understand why we they get a load it. of nuisance peoples together and then send them all somewhere together and think it's all yeah. going to go well, yeah. you know what I mean? It was yeah. a nightmare. What's that all the, all the local... in that? I'm know. just trying to think if there was any writers with us. No, the only person that anyone would know, Audley Harrison, you know, the boxer? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, pa- I'm, pals with, I'm good pals with his brother, but he used to come with us as well. Really? That's crazy. Yeah, but we, we had, I mean, like, the, what's it, the other thing, the other thing that ruined it a little bit, not ruined it, it sounds a bit sad now, but quite a few people started dying, you know what I mean? Yeah, was you, you, you there had, when Bliss? You had, yeah, you yeah. Well, I wasn't there. We was going from Harrow to uh, North Harrow. Do you know Nigel Quick? Pitchlow Bliss. Yes. It weren't long so after Ray's Bli- went he, either, They were surfing as they are coming into Harrow no, on the Big Mets. No, in the was, semi, weren't it? It was yeah. uh, in between the trains. Cause you used to hang, up, hang out hang in between the, the trains yeah. and draw on the side. And, right, and uh, you've heard this do-do-do and some thought someone had thrown a fire extinguisher out the window or something. And it weren't. It was... It was like bliss, a bit of thing. You hit um because going over the signal. going over the going over the change bit in the tracks. Yeah, as you go into Harris. And rough, like we've all run it? we've all run down the tracks and we're all stopping trains. Stopping trains, all that. I was And um, when what happened after that, I don't know, but So he got hit and then and so he was he was hit. Yeah. yeah. He didn't die straight well, that's what I said, but No. But anyway, it was But it yeah, was weird. Semi was on the other side. That's it, yeah. So Bliss, I think he was on this side. Yeah. And Semi was on that side. And they're coming into Harrow. It must have coming into Harrow. Been from Harrow, Uxbridge. North Harrow. If it's on the no, far nobody, nobody line. went to Uxbridge. Nobody ever went to Uxbridge. True. Mm-hmm. I used to say to people, "Come, let's go on the Uxbridge line." They go, "Why don't you fuck off? Yeah, You're lame." All that. <laughs> it's a long way. Yeah, it's hot. Oh, it's not. It's not. After Rice, it's hot, mate. but it's no good. What is it? How do you mean hot? What gets hotter is in terms Busier of busier stations. Oh, like, I see. When on on the between Harrow and Watford. Especially when you get up to kind of Northwood, more yeah. park. So not the graph, but more the attract everything. Yeah, happening. it's yeah. just a bit well, quieter. And you had shops. You can just do what you want to do. You had shops on Northwood as well. You could go and check it over your shoulder. Less, less busy plots. Mm. Yeah. Because up and that was... You know what they used to do in the shops in East Coat or Do you remember? <laughs> We'd come out of the station... And they'd have a system where one shop would phone five. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Then that shop would phone another yeah. five. And they'd warn them all the way yeah. down and the you road. Guys come we well, coming. You'd, you'd end up going, you'd end up going so, to the sports yeah. shop. You don't go to the sports you shop. Come out. You just pray that someone breaks the chain. You come out and you go, look, I've got a left shoe, a left <laughs> Adidas or something. You know what I mean? Then we'd Absolute spend the, the, the You'd spend the rest of the day looking for somewhere that had the right shoe, you know what I mean? It's <laughs> painful. I mean, right, right slip in that area, I mean, it's more, uh, yeah, it's more, um, 
Ru- oh, not rural. No, no, it's, it's it's not anymore. Just, no, not anymore. Because the HS2 is yeah, just... it's pretty much the same. Even Harefield. Harefield isn't even like a village. It's unrecognisable really? now. Yeah. Yeah. Because well, the HS2 is just ranging. Do you know Harefield's but... Greater London? Is it? Yeah, see, but no one will have this for me. It's no one will have it. Oh, okay. It doesn't stick with really? shit. Well, you've got the shit works down the road, do you know what I mean? <laughs> but like then, after that, you had Stig and Zone riding the roof of the train. Whoa. Yeah, and, and was he Zone, with Zone that yeah, day? Yeah, Zone was in front yes. of him and Stig was climbed but up in between. On, that and was he's gone, Stig's gone, line. no, that was between Moor Park and Northwood. I thought it was and he's Coast. gone, he's gone, bridge, bridge. And he's just turned around, bang, hit the bridge. Oh. And on the floor, you See, know I, I grew up with Zone, he was good pals with my cousin. Yeah, yeah. My cousin dabbled in the graph a bit. They used to do South Harry Yard a lot, Zone. South but it's funny because Zone and Ray's had a fight at South Harry Yard. Did they? And um, Ray's, and when they had the fight, do you know this? No. Ray's um, fell on the tracks and got electrocuted, only a little bit. Yeah. I don't know, like, the ins and outs. But it's really strange that both of them passed the way that they did. Yeah. Wow. But, yeah, yeah, they had a fight in um, South Harry Yard. But, I don't know what it but, was about. But it was all, believe me, it's all a miracle that so many more people didn't die. Because, I mean, yeah. we was at Norfolk Station. I climbed over the bridge and I was, I was doing my name. And I fell off the bridge and I landed next to the fast tracks on the stones. It was about a 20-foot drop and I landed on my back. If it had been two foot that way, I would have landed on the track and probably, you know what I mean, we'll killed myself. Yeah, yeah. Electric, yeah. And it was just a miracle that I landed though. there and there's everyone shouting off the bridge laughing at me, you know what I mean? I'm laying there on the floor going... <laughs> But does that does that give you a I mean, for, for from a reflective point of view, do you see it? Do you do you remember that? Does it give you any sort of PTSD or shakes or things? Just a fucking no, like, what an idiot thing no. to do. Like nothing like that. No, I just I just come across the, the thing if it's a miracle. It's a it, not a miracle, you know what I mean? But like how it could how it happened so many times. I mean, I got up to uh, ride the trains, holding the put my foot on the where the door was and holding the roof. Mm. And then you get to the end of the station, but you jump off. And, but I was the wrong way round. Mm. And it's coming to the end of the station. I thought, oh, I've got to jump off here somewhere, you know what I mean? Mm. And I've just landed backwards, just rolling up the, rolling up the station, you know what I mean? Where? It, it, that was Uxbridge. But you had it with, Do you remember uh, we used to pull, the, when we couldn't be bothered to walk, um, the TU boys, we used to pull the emergency thing at Edgware Road by the canal, you know, the bridge. Yeah, yeah. And we'd jump out and jump down. Yeah, never walk. And so we didn't have to walk from the station. Yeah. Proper, proper yeah. That was Jut. Um, we got Jut. I don't know who else. So who that rhyme and then... Rhyme, yeah, big yeah. up rhyme. But with that was... Uh... But you you guys, all, that we all got on so well. You, I mean, you, yes. Steam, even, even Steve, isn't it? Steve, same, Steve, 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 same, was... Steve, same, my bacon a good few times. Really? We went round his, we went round his house, me, uh, Tia and I, and that, we went round his house in, I think it was Swiss Cottage, and he had all weights and all this, that, and the other. Mm. And we were like, look, well, Steve was younger than me, but he yeah. was like a beast, you know what I mean? yeah. And we'd be it's doing mad. weights and all that. He'd be going, more, more, more. Really? <laughs> yeah, we'd be trying to do weights. Yeah, yeah. See, I've had to, yeah, yeah. He's proper a, thing. He means business, definitely. We, we, we stayed in the shop and I think, I don't know where it was, Swiss Cottage, something like that. We stayed, oh, about 10 of us went in there, got loads of this and the other. Police come down and we're all there in a queue, all full of cans of beer and whatnot, you know what I mean? And Steve's going, why don't you fuck up to the police? And he said, yeah, and then, so they went for him. And they've all dumped on him. And he's, he's like, oh, 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 like karate kid, you know what I mean? Attacking him and all that. Wow. They've dragged him, they've dragged him, put him in the back of this police van, right? And he's going, I'll see you at Harrow in 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and the police van's driven up the road. And he's burst out like Mr T, you know what I mean? Stop Honestly, it. he's burst out the back of the van. I don't know if he had cuffs on or not, I can't remember. But he's burst out the back of the van. And then just run running off down the road going like that. <laughs> Incredible yeah. accounts. I can't wow. believe it. Do you know what? People, they've got a perception wow. of steam, but we don't know him like that. Well, because you when of, he uh, always yeah. wanted the best for all of us, looked after yeah. all of us, didn't it? Yeah, he he did. Did. I get, I had that as well with him. You He's, know what though? That mad. I find, I find people are like that with bats and desire as well. Really? Just because they're big guys, they have like um. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, persona. Yeah, yeah, and the thing is, a lot that's of people. One of the gentlest. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people. Big up, D, a, a lot of people. They were perceived a certain way, so they sort of wanted to live up to that sort of name, sort of thing. Uh, I think. I don't <coughs> know. You think that's kind of part of the. Yeah. 
but people perceived them that way, so they wanted to live up to that thing. I mean, we had it. We was at Preston Road a couple of times, and uh, the BT B, BTP come, or was it Normal Police? I think it's Normal Police come to get us, <laughs> and they've come down to the station, and uh, they, we, me and me and the other boys, we was going all quietly in that. And they're taking us up the stairs. Steam's comes down and started booting them all over the place. Whoa. You know what I mean? Like Karate Kid. Mm-hmm. And we've gone round. We're running through that big field by Preston Road. And he's he's running. He's running like twice as fast as us. And we're going <laughs> <laughs> ready to get nicked. You know what I mean? But <coughs> just kept going. He was fit, and he oh, was. Oh, he was. Tall. There was another time some some geezer at Preston. I was tagging, and uh, this bloke's got hold of me and holding me by the throat. And they're going this and the other, and Steve's come in, just gone two moves. The blokes, the blokes on the floor, and he was going, he was going to hurt you. I was going, yeah, I know he was. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wow! And just save my bacon. Everyone needs a mate like that, right? Oh, that's oh, wow. unbelievable. Um, big up Two Tone uh, for what I'm about to ask right now, because there was a particular story that <coughs> Tish uh, oh, didn't get a chance oh, to talk about when when uh, you were here last time. <laughs> yeah, I got told off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you wasn't there, was you? I don't know. You know what it was? I'd done something at North Harrow and um, I had to get out of North Harrow quick. I think I was with Aroma. Come on, let's get to the point. Have you anyway, upset? so we... <laughs> <laughs> I got to Harrow and the police were looking for me. <coughs> so what happened was they... Um, I robbed this girl's Walkman and something else. And um, they nicked me and they put me in the back of the police van at Harrow bus Mm. station. So um, those times there, they'd be like all dizzy, all the Sudbury Hill lot who weren't really writers. They were just really drinkers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like everyone was there, like when I say all crews, like every. So anyway, so I started fighting with the policeman in the back of the van, yeah. So um, this policeman, I've punched him up in the back of the van. The girl's walkman just got crushed completely. So I don't know what, how I did it, but I ran out of the front of the police van. So I'm running, running. <laughs> As you go past Harrow bus station, if you're running alongside the tracks, mm. you're going up towards Besborough, there's like a, um, a bridge. So I'm running, I don't know where I'm running. And I'm running towards the fence, and then I hear the dog behind me. Oh, no. So I don't fuck with oh. no dog. The, the policeman's chasing me, but yeah. the dog's chasing me as well. I was just like, great me. But where I was scuffing in the back of the van with the policeman, yeah. obviously I'm screaming, shouting, and whatever. Surprised. My friends, like, because the Subby Hill boys, they were like, we, us lot were close. Oh. They're like, what the fuck are you doing to Tish? Da, 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 da. Mm. So we started fighting with the police. Big all-out riot at Harrow bus station. Oh. Like, all the 147 boys were there. Mm. So much of us got arrested. Loads of us got arrested. I caused the, they said I caused <laughs> the mini riot. <laughs> <laughs> caused the mini riot. So do you apologise and all that? Did oh, you? Yeah, of course did. <laughs> <laughs> but my my friend Darren, they knocked his tooth out. The police, oh, it went off, mate. I'll tell caused you what. It was a riot That's... in Harrow. People remember that, and I didn't tell you last time. And I see two Tony's like Tish, huh? How you doing a podcast? <laughs> he was waiting for the for the riot story. <laughs> so now you guys know the certified story. certified documented yeah. down at, down on te- on the on yeah the and then. Um, the, they asked the policeman if he wanted to charge me mm. for the assault. He said no. My mum, when she, she yeah. said, did you do that to his eyes? Oh, I said, no. yeah. <laughs> she, she, my mum laughed. I mean, my mum never condoned anything that I did. But, but I think, again, that was more like with you, that people, they had this thought about what sort of person you were, and I think you sort of... Played to that sort of thing. Oh, I God, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? But yeah. I said to Keller before, I was the only girl in a, in a male-dominated yeah. Yeah, but you made, environment, you, you so I had to make my... Definitely made your mark, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling them about um, when I used to take the trousers off. I don't know who I'd done it to. I think it was the twins or... Take them off? Do you remember? Oh, maybe you wasn't there. 
take the trousers at some point. Take the trousers? And leave them on the train with no trousers on. See, I wouldn't have done it to John. The hustler was... No, no, okay, so what what, 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 what separated John from... This is interesting. What, what's the oh what yeah, is it? yeah. No, there was people. There was. I know what you certain mean. Certain characters. They there were certain that. people that we, yeah. not could, having it. You could get hold of. There were certain people. You yeah. Could, you know what I mean? And plus, I could run quicker and everything. And huh. But you must have enough notoriety. Liar. You must have had enough notoriety. <laughs> we were was, the elephant. The thing, the thing was. The thing was. <laughs> I was when I was about thirteen. I was this height, and I was quite. I was. I weren't fat, but I was quite big built. Was so big. I looked like something. But I mean, you know. I don't know if people thought I was like saying out of the yeah, months. Yeah, no one like, wanted to fight you or anything like uh, that. You didn't have that problem. Apart did from, you? Uh, apart from Wreck when he comes down. Little Wreck. Yeah. You wreck. Get, wreck can fight no, anyone. No, Wreck come down. He's gone. You went over me. <laughs> and I went. Oh, did I? And he's gone. Yeah, you owe me sixty pound. I said, I ain't got a sixty pound. And he went for me, and I've run on Brosset out on the old station. And he's running with me. He's running on the that side, and I'm running on this side. And he's jiffed me with ammonia from the other about 20 foot away. Away, Yeah, jiffed me with ammonia. He was a problem. Wreck yeah. was a problem. Yeah. Wait, but that's what I say. He come from, he come from somewhere different. You know what I mean? Yeah. From where I come from. Yeah. You know what I mean? But we, we yeah, you lot was bumpkin to us. It was bumpkins, you could tell. Well, you could tell, you know what I mean? We'd have our barber jackets on there. Oh, but we wouldn't. <laughs> but it was different. It Talk was to me about place. raising then. Talk to me about raising for its time, you know. Give, give me some give me some awesome well, racking stories. Oh god, but the thing is, I know this sounds it's not racist, this sound ever. But I know if I used to go racking, right, you'd, you'd stand there any 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 black person just stand over. If there's people watching people, they'd be watching them. Right. You know, we went yeah. up to Stockwell. They used to have that paint shop That's in Stockwell. That's not you being racist, it's them. Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. Like, we, didn't we, have, we didn't see colour, none of us. We went, we went to Stockwell and there was this mad paint shop there. You could get pinks and all this and the other. And I've got a couple of pinks and a couple of mo's and this and the other. And like, Steam, but then again, Steam was in there with his enormous red puffer on, you know what I mean? Steam like a fake. fucking... Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, uh, and the thing is... I come out, I come out, I was going, oh, I've got these colours and all that. He was going, oh, I couldn't get no colours, they wouldn't leave me alone, and they say, never. <laughs> and he was going, oh, can I have one? I was going, no, not really. He was going, look, John, if you don't let me have one, I'm going to take all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll let it slide. Yeah, 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 no worries. <laughs> but we had it, we went to, we went to West, West, West Rysip? West Rysip years yeah. ago. We're all just bombing, all because full of trains, you know what I mean? We're just bombing all of them, yeah. little central line trains. And then we've got a chase, and you've got the central light tracks, and then the overground tracks on the other side. And like when you run, mm. you you just you run, you don't think of what's going mm. on. And so we've we've run over the the central line tracks, and there was like a some sort of cable going along about two foot off the ground. Mm. I don't know if it was communicate, whatever I don't know. But we've all about six of us we've all fallen over that, and then a overground train went past. You know what I mean? So you, so you don't you know you don't know if we, if that hadn't been there, we'd all gone over. Could have all been squished, you know what I mean? That's what I say, someone's up there going like this. Yeah. That's not meant to happen. That's not meant to happen. Mm. It's, oh, I don't know. There is something about that, you know, that it it's not your time. Yeah. yeah. It's, or it's, you didn't, didn't done something. It's like that time at Norfolk Park. Um, do you remember, what's her name, the other writer um, that you sang around me and Peach for a little bit? I don't know. Style. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She saved my life on the Norfolk Park Bridge. Do you throw these names out, and because I get it, you it's an era, it's an era defining names. As time goes on in graph, there's more names and more names. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. What is it about those original names that stick with you? Because you know, it's like of, we were friends. It weren't just right. like a graph. yeah, but something a lot something's happened. Friends. If something major happens, you tend mm. to remember someone more, didn't you? You know, you tend to remember people. Like some of these, well, in an like, honourable kind of way. No, oh, if if something serious happens or something goes on, mm. that tends to stick in your memory. Mm. But if it's just a normal day, nothing happens, nothing goes wrong and this mm. and the other, you don't tend to it don't tend to sit there too much. You know? Mm. But uh but Could no. it be that sometimes that you know, as a as a you growing up in in those environments, the days kind of repeat themselves. A bit, oh, bit yeah. mundane. Yeah, they do, yeah. yeah. And then something really happens and that becomes the yeah, yeah, East, East Enders moment of the... the Life the, yeah. so fast back then. Well, yeah, well, was that's it? it. That's it. Every day, every you day know, was different. You didn't have buses that run on a Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, 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 so, was, do you know what I mean? Do you think you could get to airfield from Northwood on a Sunday? Amount of times as a kid I had to walk to airfield at mm. like 11 o'clock at night. 
But even Harrow, you couldn't get to Hatch End unless you yeah. got the... Who wants to go to Hatch End? Um, people from Hatch End don't get buses, mate. They don't get buses, people in Hatch End, do they? Yeah, but I might have wanted to go there and do something. But yeah. it's a lot of things, isn't it? Like, you know, <laughs> for, you know, for the youngsters watching, you know, TV used to shut off at 12 o'clock to the yeah. National Anthem. You yeah, had um, yeah. Tim Westwood, yeah, yeah, till about one o'clock. Yeah. And then you don't, before you stuff the hitman and her and all no, that you've, shit, you've but hit, you'd have MTV. You've hit, you've hit the nail on the head. TV, a lot of it, we all know it's all controlling and all that. Yeah. But we people, people will sit there. People will sit there and just put any old shit. We had a 50p telly, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah 50p yeah, yeah, in the yeah, back. Yeah, that's it. But people will sit there and just... Yeah, and just like well, go like that, so yeah. they won't go. So they won't go and do this, and it's even yeah. more so now with phones. For young kids, it's like, well, what we're we gonna do? See, when I was a do? kid, my I used to go to the brigade, and I love camping and all that. I'm down for all that. <sighs> you know what I mean? I well, even now. That. Yeah, I wouldn't go, okay, camp, I wouldn't go camping now. with you, yeah, I like... As long as I've got a warm bed, mate. Oh, as long well. as I'm not cold. What about putting a tent I'm up good. and all that? I, I don't that. know about that. My ADHD won't allow me to put a tent up. I'll pay someone to do it. I'll pay my son to do it. We had a bit of, when we got, last time we got Nick for it, we used to go to Wembley, sheds. It was in oh, the yeah, winter. Yeah. And like, we used to go, Ricky, it's so cold. So we go, but we was going about three times a week to Wembley for about a month. Ones. But it weren't, it was warm. It was nice. Yeah, that's what and I mean. And we had a mate around the corner. Sheds. We'd stay around his house. Mm-hmm. And his mum would make us food and all that. So like, we went there about four months, four weeks a couple of times a week Who in a row. That? Um Bailey twins, Matthew and Adam Bailey. And uh, the we, from Wembley. So we go to Wembley. But obviously we went there too many times. And there used to be a door at the back. Mm. Someone would go in, open the door at the back, and we'd all come in and all that. So we'd like get ready to do this that, and the other. And then you've had raid and there was there was we didn't know with BT coming up every aisle we're where we trained. Raided were. On our eggs. And like I've I've um shock Daniel, he's tried to run away. He had a hoodie on. It's gone round his face. He's hit a train and fell on the floor. You know what? what I mean? So they've got hold of him. The geezer who grasped us up, I can't think what his name was. Ginger fella. We found he was... Oh. Yeah, he was living in a coal shed. And we, we allowed him to stay around our houses. But anyway, he went to the back door to get out of the back door. So obviously BT there. They've kicked the back door over and knocked him out. You know what I mean? He was unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we all got nicked anyway. But, uh, it's just the way you guys laugh at it because it's just like to me it's just it's <laughs> harrowing on the hill this is just some scary <laughs> shit oh it's horrendous um, uh, <coughs> Tish actually while it crosses my mind recently I had uh, Asbo on female graffiti writer okay um, recently gone through a hell of a lot of uh, life stuff issues yeah yeah some proper and uh, she's about three or four years now sober Four okay. years of it, you know, I'm really proud of her. Big, big up Asbo. Um, obviously, as a female yourself, and gone through one hell of a ride as well. Is there any extra value of advice you could give female writers, people, or or more so young women that are in the system or have these, you know, have, you know, mental health issues that you know that, that lead them to, you know. Going down the roads that you you you've crossed over the years. I think to be fair, I think the majority of us went after graph. Mm. We went that way. The majority of us, but and some people, it just gets hold of them. You know, what <coughs> I mean? some people it just gets hold of, and it's it's a horrible thing to say, but anyone can give anyone any sort of advice, any information, anything, but it's down to that person. Yeah. It's down to that person. There's no, there's no way you could coerce someone. I think someone. it's different for women, yeah. especially if you've got kids. I do. I, th- I, th- I think it's worse for women. I think I'm not being watched. See, it, addiction's I've... never been an issue for me. Mm. I've taken drugs, but I've never had an issue. Mm. When I've wanted to stop or needed to stop, mm. I've done it without. Mm. Yeah. You know, I take it or leave it. I do think women get addicted but to things easier than men as well. I was more addicted to, to thieving and mm. fi- those are more like money was my god mm. do you know what I mean yeah, it was everyone's right? and um, and then when I had my kids that was my main focus I couldn't jeopardise that yeah so, there's so um, many people that lose that isn't there I think my son just put life in my perspective son. for me really mm. and to be fair I think that if you don't have anyone or anything because I remember when I didn't have kids and what, no responsibilities, mm. 
And like I said to you before, I'm very much like it's shit or bust. Yeah. All Fuck it. Yeah. Just go for it. Yeah, maybe they go and I always the say, what's the worst someone can say is no if you want to ask them something. Yeah. You know, and sometimes it's not good mm. way to to be, but I just think that now there's a lot more um, mental health recognition. I had no clue mm. that I had what I had going on. I knew I was different. I knew that something weren't right, mm. but I didn't know what. Mm. And um, it's a lot more out in the open now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and yeah I which think is a good women thing. Yeah. develop coping mechanisms, and we mask a lot as well our problems. It's, it's, it's very emotional. Yeah, but everyone does from our age, don't yeah. they? Yeah, but then that's what yeah, you're saying about that. That's why maybe um, women tend to have more um, addictive um, traits. Yeah. 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 And then I think that women as well, when they're in those cycles of abuse, because mm. it's it's self-harm, isn't it? Yeah. They become vulnerable, and I think that there's a lot of people that prey on people like that. Sure is. Yeah. So it, it becomes another... Pro- it can, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I just think um, if you've got... The person, the real realness is if you see anyone and you've got anyone close and you mm. see them, just, you know, try be there, and be there point them. them in the right direction. Uh, all you can do is be there Because if people. someone had said to me, you've got, I think that you you might, blah, 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 mm. it would have given me something to think about, plant the seed, do you yeah. know what I mean? Because some people yeah. don't realise. Like a diagnosis of sorts. And also as well with addiction, I don't want to get into all that, but because um, I... I don't I don't profess to know anything, but I do know that if you're drinking and you've got a mental illness, or vice versa, you take drugs, is... it can provoke mental illness. Mm, of course it can. So you can't... Do you know what I mean? Mm. So, um, yeah, there's a reason why we do stuff, and you've got to get to that reason first. You've got to have a life to... You know, you've got to live a life to have a life, and you've got to... Mm. This is wisdom, right? These are gems and jewels. Do you think, like, a lot of what you guys went through... You you mentioned it earlier when I asked whether it has any kind of after-effect for you. You are like, well, no, actually, because I lived the life. I managed well, to do it, you know. Yeah, but, I mean, the thing, is, the thing is, you're, everyone, you're always going to terror, terrorise yourself about what you've done wrong and what mistakes you've made. You're always going to... They're always... Most people, their worst enemy is themselves. Yeah. You know what I mean, and you're always gonna, you're always gonna be, you, be horrible towards yourself for this and the other, you know. But as long as you I have guilt, long, I don't have a lot of regret. Mm. No, but as long as long, regret. Yeah, but don't you? I, sometimes I sit there, and sometimes I say, "How oh, you done this? You done that?" And like, you know, it, I, I sort of just feel horrible about myself and this and that. But you've never, you were never a bad person. John. Yeah, I know, but the not boss, like me. Yeah, but the thing is, the thing is, everybody feels bad about themselves. You know what I mean? Mm. And it don't help having negative things about and all that. Yeah. And obviously drugs and this and the other, alcohol, don't help. Yeah. You know what I mean? The only reason I didn't get into a like, proper addiction is because I'm too lazy. <laughs> you know but I mean? we've got a lot of friends, a lot of writers that that mm. do and still addicted to drugs, yeah. 50 years old. Yeah. And it, it's a shame, it's sad. Mm. Yeah. It's sad. What's it the is. biggest thing you've got guilt or regret for, John? <sighs> uh, I don't know, just... I don't know, just for bad things I've done, just where I've been horrible to people, I've done nasty things or... Some more emotional. Or fucked yeah. things up and all this, that and the other yeah. for other people and dragged other people down with me and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. You know, but um, so the thing is, you've got to say to yourself, that's happened, You're not. that's not going to happen again. you sort of learnt from it. Mm. But, like, you still sit there, you still sit there, especially doing a bit of seeding patrol and all that, you know what I mean? Where you just, oh, you could, oh, your mind... I've had, I've, had, I've had a strange time there the other year... And I was all I wanted to do was hurt myself. This and other, and it was just come from nowhere. It come from nowhere, and I was like it for a couple of days. You know what I mean? And it was it was such a weird thing. But and it's like when they say to people, "Oh, if this is happening, that's happening." Go and talk to people. But when you're like that, you don't you want don't anyone. You don't want no one to know. Mm. You don't want no one to know. So you're not going to go and talk to anyone. Do anybody. you know what it is? I think you. I've 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 been. Um... I wouldn't say I've been, like, in meltdown, but I've been at a place bad enough. Mm. I'm feeling like that, but really, I don't know why I'm feeling like yeah, that. Yeah, that's it. So I, can't, I couldn't even tell you yeah. 
So what me talking to you is yeah. no good because no, no, all I, I can say to you is this is how I feel, mm. but I ain't got a fucking clue why. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I could be sitting there and have a cry or whatever, mm. but I'm, I'm very emotional as I've got older. We're I don't know. We're strange old units, mate. Turn. Yeah. We are strange old units. But I just go with the flow now. Yeah. However I feel. And let that emotion thing slide. Yeah, you've got yeah. to because otherwise... I've lived too regimental yeah. in my life mm. due to my ADHD mm -hmm. to try and give myself boundaries and try and, do you know what I mean? It's hard. And like you say, guilt's one thing and that's that energy. That's I have hateful. a lot of guilt. But the, the regret, you've just got to let it go. You can't. You can't. You can't. I, know people, I know people that are still angry and bitter and seething over partners that they had 15 yeah, years ago that yeah. cheated on them with this one but and that's that one insanity. You, why are you wasting that's your insanity, life yeah. what? but people that's what you're, people would let their whole Get life on with your people life let, people like, let their whole life i remain bitter for all that time mm, you're wasting so much energy people people yeah. just grip onto that some people just don't and care part of their life. they live miserable lives mm. but i thing, couldn't live like that like uh what is it what is it when you have when you have you're bitter and um Regrets and this and the other, and it plays on your mind. But you just gotta let it go. You well, that's what it go. does. I think it ruminates in people's heads. Yeah, don't you it? gotta let it go, haven't you? you know what, what, you, what do you suffer with guilt with the most, Tish? Like? Just um, some of the stuff I've done as yeah. a kid. Yeah. And um and that's it, and you can't blame the massive thing is just the horrible other things that I did, but mm. I, I, I own everything. But well, that's it, you can't blame no one else. But I still walk and I look over my shoulder because yeah, I, know, but... I mean, I don't know, I don't know, I'm very wary of people. Yeah, but I think, it, I mean, I don't think that's, I think that's just a normal thing. But I was I a am. kid, so there, there is a difference. Mm. No excuse. <laughs> <laughs> no, but holding on to things and being bitter and that, it's it's no good. It will it will bring bring you down. You yeah. know what I mean, I had people talking to him and they'll go, well, when I was with her twelve years ago and it's oh, you know what? I just think you know what just I mean? just let people crack on, in it. Yeah. You, they don't figure in my life, and yeah. as I've got older as well, I've become very. I won't tolerate if you wrong me. Mm. Then that's it. Boom. Gone, mate. Mm. Because I don't have time for nice people like that. Like, unless I check for you hard, like yeah. I've I've got a lot of time for you, and I, yeah. you know, it just depends what it is. Yeah. But um, I had that with one friend of mine. We had to make a clean break for six months to cut him off completely. Really, but it made him reevaluate our friendship, mm. and now we're friends again, and and. It's reset and we're at a... With friends. And like... this is someone I've known since I was 16. But I knew yeah. that that friendship was worth fighting yeah, yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. I knew it was just a blip in the road. Yeah, that's right. So, um, but every... yeah, but I, anyone else... Yeah, but everybody lets people down. Everybody does bad things. If you're in a friendship... I for try a... not to. No, if but I, if I like you're in a friendship... say, if I'm going to... If I say I'm going to do something, I, I will yeah, follow yeah, through. I'm, yeah, but if you do a bad thing, something bad happens, whether it's money, whether it's this, that, and the other. Yes, yeah, I don't do nothing like that anymore. Yeah, but the, yeah, I but just the want thing a is, quiet life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't bring money into any, yeah, anything, yeah. Ever, then, <laughs> then life's easy, isn't it? But, right? it, but the, there's no point in holding grudges. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because the only person it affects is yourself. Yeah, Even you know I mean? money, though, it's mm. like if I, if I lend people money, they don't give it back to yeah, me. Yeah, but there's a Best thing. bit of money I've ever yeah, Exactly, exactly. There you go. We won't talk to me, though. We won't phone me up that's cost me a score <laughs> yeah, that's the I'm, best score yeah, I've ever spent you know what I mean do you ever remember do you ever remember Tough you used to live by Danny or was it Dusk Dusk, Dusk. yes I was going to mention him Dusk. earlier he, was a, he looked like a bank manager right he was, he was an alright fella with his wedge but yeah but he, had a, he used to carry his paint about in a briefcase <laughs> didn't, yeah. didn't he Homework, used to go with Mize wow. and Dan? Yeah, so, yeah. Wow. But he'd be he going down to, the yard with a briefcase and he'd be walking along and be going clean, clean, clean. He was He bit every Oh, he bit did, yeah. He'd like, it'd be a cross between Mize and Carl. Really? He'd be trying wow. to get people to beat me up, you know what I mean? I don't know why. I, oh, he was, I, a, I was a bit of a knob myself. Donut. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's all right. That's, that's the that's type of boy like, that you take the trousers off. <laughs> <laughs> Stealing trousers for people, that's what it's come to. Look. Robbing people of their trousers. That's just embarrassing. But no, but that's what I say as well. When we was at Harry, this and ever, or we go out to Westbourne Park and Labrick Grove and all that. I think I used to go down there to get robbed, you know what I mean? It's like a... Uh, <laughs> I mean, wow. but you, get, you get robbed, I'd have about 30p on me, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know yeah. what? I, I said I before, I, I never ventured off the big man. I hear jingle, bring me shekel. <laughs> yeah, that was a wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we used to know Roma quite well, and he was about six foot nine, you know what I mean? He was giant. And he just used to chuck us about. We'd all try and fight him and all this, that, and the other. And he just used to chuck us about like little, little toys, you know what I mean? Oh. Just sling us about. And then he started trying to rob us, and he must have known that all we had was a, like a Mars bar of like seventeen p or something like that. It was a waste of time. He was good friends with Bliss, them lot, because yeah. Bliss's family was reinforced. Do you know reinforced records? What drum bass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, were they? What? So the Quitchlow family, if you yeah, and um, incredible. Yeah, so Nigel was, yeah, so they was his brothers. <clears throat> and um, them lot were from Kingsbury, like this way, right, more something. close about this way. Yeah. Mad intel on this podcast. <laughs> I remember, I remember many moons ago. I was with Cast, and he he was going up to East Ham to finish off a piece there. And like being a little bumpkin from Harefield, we'd gone up to East Ham, come off the train station. I say no, what's it? There was about twenty little black kids on on. BMXs with bomber jackets on and all that, you know what I mean? I thought, fuck it, I'm going to get fucking robbed continuously here. Not being like, nasty, but Cast knew everybody, you know what I mean? I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. They'd go in the shop to go and get a bottle of Lucasade or whatever, and the shop would just be a cage. You'd just go in there, just be a cage like oh, that. Oh, really? What and, about then? And, like, you couldn't go in the shop and buy it, <coughs> you know what I mean? I couldn't believe it, you know what I mean? Little man from Airfield, I could have gone and been milking cows or something, you know what I mean? <laughs> and there I am up in the East Ham, you know what I mean? See, these are all yeah. little stories I didn't even know, yeah. like... Well, it was all mad. But, like, I was um, talking about Tube before, I was trying to get a Tube up here, but... Yeah. The Elusive. Yeah, the Elusive yeah. Tube. Yeah, but some, people, some, people don't, some people don't want to be in the... No, 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 I have another opportunity to actually oh, speak right. to him. Yeah. It's always at work, a bit of a work I like to think. Uh, there's always <coughs> tea in the pot, drinks in the fridge. And you had me rock up in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, yeah. me rock, I'll type me rock, yes. And Smug we will be way. getting Jack um, in due course, I'm so sure. Yeah, but, hopefully, yeah. I have to drag him. But yeah. Disha, I've got to thank you very much, my darling, because you really, literally have been pulling out some... Well, I, I didn't know if anyone really knew who, who John who was. Yeah, well, the on, thing man. is, I, I used to think he's... I, I, I used to have, I used to have a... What's it? What's it? <laughs> what, what's what, it? What, what, yeah, what? Out of, out of, um, perm? No, it was like a perm. But His hair was curly. No, it was, it was long like this. and curly all over the place. It was like a giant, yeah, that's it. It was like a giant microphone. And he had really dark features, you know, like yeah. his eyelashes and that. Like he... No, I'm not gonna. No, like you used to like. wear, um, not mascara and that. Obviously, Fucking you mascara. But is is they used to be really dark? John, not Jane. Yeah, well, it's, <laughs> it's all fine now. Anyway, I don't you know even I mean? remember how I met John, and but we oh. just we used to have such a crap, yeah, didn't we? Yeah. On the line, it was a proper giggle. Just go out and rob whatever we wanted. Whatever but we yeah, wanted. Like people like Info and that used to come yeah, down. Remember the bigger Ray? fella, the bigger fella. Yeah, info. yeah. He's, he's, I can't believe it. He, he was quality, wasn't he? Yeah, he was he lovely, was weren't he? He was quality. He Got passed, so didn't well he? With him, yeah. Rest in peace, of rest in peace, shop. Yeah. Rest in peace, yeah. Ray. Info, man. Info, uh, bl- bliss right as well. Yeah. I mean, goodness, look. Oh, it's a miracle. People are still here. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's a miracle. Something. Someone's gold or something and said, right. Yeah. yeah ain't your what's it? Rest in peace, zone. <laughs> Yeah, yeah it's, it's but it's even like when we did that Treadwick Tower thing the night Danger. after. The night after, it was at that love tea bag and someone else got. Oh yeah, because I I brought, I got John to come to Treadwick a couple of years back, wasn't yeah. it? Because the manager, I don't know how we linked up on Facebook or oh, something. Yeah. I think through um, stalker, raving stalker, and you know, promoters yeah. and that. He's kind of got a familiar. Uh, yeah, 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 I've yeah. seen him yeah, on yeah. 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 So, um, and I actually got in touch with Shock, but he was doing some music. 
Yeah. And it weren't really my bag. No, it was... Uh, it was uh, I was quite shocked, actually. I can't shocked think what it was. Shock. It was beep, 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 On that kind of 32-bit... Well, it was, uh, like, it, was like, uh, it was like dial-up internet, you know what Dude, I mean? I, there's a culture for that. There's a real culture. Yeah. There's a scene for This that. was yeah. a few Man, years like, ago. Yeah, you know, that's like, it. Out of it. But, um, kind of, like, a bit crushy and noisy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and he didn't song. really... Converse and that he wasn't big on. Well, he he had issues, didn't he? You yeah, know what I mean, I, I think he wanted. To, I think he wanted to keep away from everything. Right. Right. Yeah. So we kind of didn't really. And then the next I knew that he passed. Rest in peace, shot. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's recent as well. That's... Yeah. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. It's a miracle, mate. I tell you, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. It's come to a point now where my most fearful thing in life is. A lot of stairs, you know what I mean? Or not finding the toilet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, wherever, you go, wherever you go, you've got to have a toilet with about eight foot, you know what I mean, just in case. Listen, I've been mediating the, the amount of drink and, uh, yeah, fluids and uh, spliffs that are being consumed here. It, it really is time we wrapped it up before the, before the table gets us. How long have we been rolling? We've been rolling good, haven't we? We've been rolling good people. Yeah, you know, you know the, 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 the timing is always on us and uh, it's been an absolute fucking pleasure. And uh, <laughs> there have been many more to come. You know. That. Many you know more that. to come, you know that. which is what it's all about. Bringing you the archive and more straight from the horse's mouth, and then some. Uh, Tish and John, thank you so much for being undercover yeah. elephants. He didn't tell undercover you that, elephants, did he? Yeah. Well, that, that was, was his crew. Yeah, but I never used to put it up. But it about, was a mad. It, we, there's only about two of us in it. <laughs> Why? Why <laughs> oh, no, Roma was in it as well. No, I remember like, that night. Undercover elephants. I can barely spell it. You know what I mean? That's definitely going to go on the thumbnail title. I think it, we were just taking the piss because everyone <laughs> was starting their own crews, weren't yeah. they? Was that were we ripping someone with that? I don't know. There was a reason you made that. It sounds that very crew Monty up. Python. It and then so very when Monty you Python. see U E all over the big <laughs> man on the picture, old school pictures, that's what it that's hilarious. Stands there for. you go. There you go. Rock in a city. I don't com. know who was in on yeah. the cover of the Me. I won't. Me my mum and dad. <laughs> As you imagine, this conversation is gonna continue right there across the road into the pub. Uh we are out like he was out of people. Listen, you stay lucky, don't talk to an R wouldn't, alright? Easy! That's how you do it. Well, I forgot that, what's it? <coughs>